Get ready to make an earring holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number three in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you're going to learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze an earring holder. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here is a list of the tools and supplies I use to make the earring holder, which will also be down in the show notes along with any other information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay until the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. I'm using a pound of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. If you're having any problems with getting your clay centered, I left a video in the link below on problems with centering clay. Stop to check the thickness of your clay with your needle tool. A third of an inch is good. Make sure you compress the bottom with your sponge to prevent any cracking. Bring the side straight up first before you flare out the clay. Now remember, slow and steady. Anchoring your left thumb against your right hand helps the pressure of your fingers stay consistent to keep the thickness of the sides even throughout your piece.
As you're bringing up the walls, don't forget to leave extra clay on the rim to make the ledge for your holes. Now flare out the clay. Use your inside hand to push outward and your outside hand for support. Bending the edge of the clay over to make the ledge, you want the clay to be thin enough to fit the earrings on, but not too thin or the ledge will collapse. I'm putting a double edge on the bottom with the ultimate edger. Before the clay is leather hard, but not tacky, you want to make the holes around the ledge. The clay can't be too hard or it will crack while making your holes. I'm using the smallest clay hole cutter. Once the earring holder is leather hard, get rid of any extra clay around the holes. I'm using the Giffen grip and a loop tool to trim the extra clay off the bottom. The Giffen grip has really saved a lot of time. Now I center in seconds instead of minutes. I'm carving a tree design with the wooden dotting tool.
Once the earring holder is bone dry, it will be bisque fired at cone 04 in my scut kiln. Smooth out any sharp edges around the earring holes with coarse sandpaper. Don't forget your dust mask. Always wash with a clean, damp sponge to get any dust or other particles off so the glaze can bond nicely to your piece. Apply a little wax resist to easily get any glaze off the bottom of your earring holder. After the wash and wax is dry, it's time to glaze. Always mix your glaze well before applying. You will also want to put your glaze through a strainer. This will catch any clumps of glaze or debris that may be lurking in the glaze. As you can see, I'm pouring the Amico Lavender Glaze on the inside and applying it on the outside with the Artist Soft Fan Brush. You will want a good amount of glaze on your brush to let the glaze float across your piece. If you're new to glazing, you may want to check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link in the description below. After the glaze dries a bit, use a plastic modeling tool to poke any extra glaze out of the hole so they won't melt shut. Don't wait too long or the glaze will be too hard to get out of the holes. Make sure you let it dry and apply a second coat. Make sure it dries again and apply a third coat. After letting it dry, I'm applying a little Spectrum Pearl White around the inner rim with the XM applicator. If you don't have an applicator, you can use a small fan brush, load it up with glaze, and dab it around the rim. One heavy coat should do it. Be careful not to get any extra glaze in the holes. Now let the glaze dry one more time and make sure the bottom is glaze free before it goes into the kiln for a final firing at cone 5.
Let's see how the earring holder turned out. Here's the finished earring holder. The glaze turned out pretty good. And I like how the pearl white dripped on the inside. The holes for the earrings turned out great. None of the glaze melted over any of the holes. All in all, I like this earring holder. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. Hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own earring holder. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.